So today I'm going to be spotlighting um, different varieties of lavender. Right here, it's not blooming just yet, but this is an English lavender. And this picture is not very good, but uh, so I'll include um, the picture. Um, but there are different types of lavender that you can use for different purposes, um, whether it's tea or um, using the oil or even cooking. From what I understand, and it's the reason I got this English lavender, English lavender is the one that tends to be used for cooking more than other varieties. Um, there's also a French lavender that uh, I am have read is used for cooking. And also all of them are great pollinator attractants, good for foraging. I have over here, and I've shown this in other videos, I have a Spanish lavender that is doing quite well, especially since I repotted it. Um, but the different varieties do look somewhat different from each other, but they're all very fragrant and pretty beautiful. And I, I don't know, let's see. So at least the Spanish lavender actually likes to be a bit dry. So I don't water this constantly. It um, is kind of a uh, set and forget plant to an extent and it kind of takes care of itself. It's uh, Here in Southern California it's a pretty good environment for these. These are used as like landscaping points of interest. Near my work there are a lot of patches of these just growing and they attract tons and tons of bees so they love it but I believe that this one can also be used in similar ways to the French and English lavender for cooking and like herbal uses um, and tea and such but from what I understand it's it, while it can be used it's not maybe the best option the English and French seem to be the better ones for those and there are other varieties out there too. So yeah, just wanted to talk about lavender a little bit. I'm kind of using this as an excuse to do more research. <laughs>